crawling back with a new Cobra hit. Look out! Older and better, the new Cobra hit shows them a face by a power like this. But nobody knows G.I. Joe or being an American hero. Hello everybody, this is Master Joe. Welcome to another review of the Vintage G.I. Joe toy. Today look at this His 2 tank from 1989. And we know that this tank is a huge upgrade from the 1983 His 1 tank. And when we talk about tanks, there are three important factors. The first is firepower. Second is protection. Third is mobility. The His 1 tank, the firepower, only has two Diablo cannon here. But our His 2 has triple barreled can here and also two laser gun that is 100 millimeter laser gun and also two missiles okay one on each side that is a huge upgrade second is protection we can see very clearly this armor is much thicker and heavier than our his one tank and also about the mobility it's about accommodation of the drivers and the soldiers and this one can only accommodate two one is the driver inside of here the cockpit the other one is the gunner on the top in this cup here our his two tank can accommodate seven soldiers which are two drivers inside of gear and one gunner and four soldiers inside of here that is a great upgrade we know that there is a vehicle called a hammerhead hammerhead can only accommodate seven people and this he's two himself can accommodate seven people and not account the two people standing behind these two packs altogether nine person that is a crazy upgrade and also we know that his tank series are inspired from the mark one that is 1916 the first british tank and also the star war the imperial shadow and also this one the color is this Okay, mixed between the gray and the blue color. That is exactly the TIE fighter's color, Darth Vader's fighter. And also, okay, this vehicle just feels like from the Star Wars movie. So if we put the vintage Star Wars figures inside of this vehicle, it also feels right. Like there are stormtroopers inside of here. There is a bubble fight on top of here as the gunner, which is also feels right in this vehicle. And this week made his first animated appearance in the Dick Animated episode number one, that is Operation Dragon Fire. At the very beginning, this week is the overwhelming G.I. Joe's vehicle and really surprised them. And his two made his first comic book appearance in issue number 97. And in that issue, Matt Banner just introduced these two tanks, which are upgrade from the His One tank to show off their firepower. And also in the issue number 108, uh, there are many His Two tanks ambush the G.I. Joes. And also in the issue 109, we can see Crimson Twin just piloting these tanks. And also in that issue, Soul Viper made his first appearance, and Soul Viper he just showed off his cruelty in that issue because he killed Heavy Metal, Crankcase, Dark, and also Thunder. And later on in the issue 110, this His 2 tank drive into the city and also show off its power. So this is a very nice vehicle. So before we look into the details of this vehicle, let's see its paperwork to get some information about this vehicle. Alright, so here is the artwork on the front box in G.I. Joe, a Cobra Command Weapon. Cobra His 2 and His is the acronym which stands for High Speed Centric Weapons Do Not Shoot. And here includes His Driver Track Viper. This is the figure here and also uh, with swivel arms and a battle grip and other figures sold separately. And here we can see an uh, alley viper and also this is Frag, which is a grenade thrower in the Cobra team. So this is the artwork behind the ball and this uh, is already assembled vehicle. On the top here it said sturdy construction for rocked play and a rotating gun turret with tri-barreled cannon here, which is a nice upgrade. And here, search light bar, okay, which is a very nice feature because in the His 1 tank, there is only stickers in the front. But our His 2 tank here is already, there is a search light bar, which is a nice molded detail here. And here is the windshield in the front, which is a much bigger and thicker windshield than the His 1 tank. Two-man cockpit, pivoting side guns here. And also, this is the Falco we'll see that later on. And these are two missiles. And also, we can see here is super realistic detail. And also, there is a real pack for some figures here. Okay, so here is what include in this box. You can see it contains right and left body size, windshield, cockpit, right and left track trash, and two dumbbell wheels, rear pedal, two cockpit clips, tower base, a triple gun, 
Searchlight Bar, Two Missiles, Two Side Guns, Track Viper, The Figure, G.I. Geo, Folder, Label, Sheet, Instructions, and Blueprints. So let's see the file car here. All right, its codename is Track Viper. He's a He's 2 driver. The He's 2 is modernized uh, version of Cobra main battle tank. It features an enhanced troop carrying capability, a laser range finder, integrated with computerized fire control system, protected by layers, composite, and reactive armor. The track viper can single handed drive the vehicle, lock onto targets, and operate the weapon system, all within a climate controlled cockpit that affords excellent 360 visibility through bulletproof acoustic windshield. Alright, that is a very cool feature. It's a very high tech, modernized tank here so track viper can himself operate this vehicle okay so he can drive this vehicle and also operate all the weapons here so we don't need a gunner here members of the viper corps <coughs> members of the viper corps and other cobra troopers like to joke that track vipers are recruited from the cobra personnel who are too clumsy or too slow to survive in the infantry although they tend to be large and muscular track vipers are perfect size for driving the he's two tank they have to be big because no one else is going to retread the track after he has been hit by a motor round. Well, this is very cool figure. And also the blueprint here. So there are a lot of features here. But first thing you need to point out is this barrel here is uh, installed wrongly. All right, because this is the correct way to install this tri-barrel here. And this is the wrongly show. Okay, so if you install in this way, you know, this person will be too far away from this panel here. And cannot see this radar. And also we can see, okay, on this instruction that it's installed wrongly. And not only once wrongly, but twice. One is here and one is right here. So that is something should not happen to the Hasper because you are the officials, right? And also let's see the features here. The Cobra Heat 2, the tri barreled Thermal Propulsion XTX A20B Cannon. Okay, that is a nice upgrade from the Heat 1. And also the number 2 is Nighttime Surveillance and Visualize Beam. That is up here, this bar. And number 3 is Sophisticated Infrared View Shield with Transparent Anti-Blast Coating. That is right here. That is infrared, which is... Okay, much better than this clear plastic here and looks thicker. Actually, it feels thicker than this windshield. An early warning attack sensory panel. That is this part. It is a nice sticker we can see. So if there are missiles attack this vehicle, so this will give some warnings, I believe. And number five is hydraulic synchronized propulsion system. That is this part right here. So when it's a shoot out these lasers, this will just reduce the recoil for this vehicle. And also number six is cannon based seat sensitive early warning radar. That is this part. So this radar will just let this uh, gunner to find the target very easily. And number seven is 100 millimeter armor piercing laser machine gun on the both side. That is here. So this one is a 100 millimeter, and this Diablo gun is 90 millimeter. So I believe this vehicle, although it is an upgrade from this first version, it is still a downside. So this vehicle can be make a little bigger, okay? Because this one is 100 and this one is 90. It is so not a match here. All right, so let's continue to see the features. And number eight is digitally manipulated lock on target laser guidance coordinators. Well, so this part is not only the light bar, but also help the gunner to uh, aim the target here. That is the radar system here. And number nine is atheristic indicator grid for wind velocity measurement. That is this part to measure the wind here. And number 10 is titanium plated cannon command control turret with 360 degree movement. All right, so let's see the rotation of this cup. That is 360, no problem. And also you can just uh, levitate this part just feels perfectly. And number 11 is track trash storage compartment for direction analysis converters. That is this part. And also same with the HIS-1 tank, there is also a storage right under here, but you cannot open this locker, but you can store something right here. And number 12 is service hovering, no noise, multi warhead slam missile on the both side. And this missile is pretty low to the ground, but it's low noise, multi warhead slam missile.
And number thirteen is steel bonded puncture proof hole. That is this part because there are four solder sitting inside of this compartment. So this one is very nice armor protection. We mentioned about that. And number fourteen is ground crunch all terrain track treads with automatic directional mechanism. That is this part. We know that the chassis is learned from the Mark One, and that is in the year nineteen sixteen. That is exactly the same with this uh, his one tank here. And the last but not the least is fully operative IFF, UHF, VHF, communication transmission and jamming system. And this part is not only for the communication but also for the jamming the system of the enemies which means the GI Joe. And also here let's see the assembly which is super easy. So first is this dumbbell installed and also these two trays, the main body and also these uh, the cup for the gunners and also this open canopy. This is a light bar and also this is the rail. We're going to later on see that that is the inside of this vehicle and also the back part and also we can just put the back part inside and also this tri-barrel cannon here. The two missiles, two laser gun, also the driver, the seat clip. Don't forget about that. So let's see. The details of this vehicle here. All right, so first let's look at the figure here. This is Track Viper, and he is the driver of the His Two Tank. And this figure reminds me of Cobra Commander because of his helmet right here. It's a very detailed-looking helmet, but it cannot、uh, take off or just lift up. Behind it is the square head, which looks kind of funny, but、uh, it's kind of cool also. And this figure's color is white, black, and also a gray here, which is more like an astronaut than any of the Cobra members. And also, we can see he has a laser gun here, which is also nice molded laser gun. And this figure has knee pad here, and also there is a dagger, okay, on his lower leg, which is also a very cool looking dagger. The articulation: his head can go back and forth, can rotate, can tilt a little bit. His arm can rotate, no problem. And also, he can swivel as the box art mentioned about. And also, there's O-rings out of there. Okay, the brand name of this figure is okay, 1989 Hasbro, made in China. All right, so this figure. Let's see the vehicle here. All right, so、uh, here the gunner is Frag, and because the, on the box we can see Frag is、uh, okay, operating this gun here, and this cup is pretty deep also, and so this figure can stand inside of there very securely, and also his arm can just rest here very comfortable, and also this cup there are some details. Okay, we can see. Okay, this is controlling panel, and also around here a nice molded, and also also behind there is a molded here, and also this gun front of here. This is the radar. Okay, this is really nice. Okay, tri barreled cannon, which is nice upgrade from this Diablo. Okay, gun here because this cannon there are only some stickers, but on this. There are a lot of molded feature detailed here, and also this is a light bar mentioned about, and there is something else. Okay, this、uh, instruction not mentioned. That is this. Okay, this peeping hole here. That is a nice feature because of no most tanks have this hole as a ventilation, or you can shoot from inside. There are two. Okay, on both sides, and also five behind. You can also see some figures hiding inside of there, and also under it. Okay, this part is a nice feature, and I believe it is not engine, but、uh, kind of like a throwing grenade, a throwing bomb kind of feature. Because at the very beginning of the year 1983, they have this feature in their mind, but later on they give it up. But in the 1989, they just put it up right here. Okay, that is a nice add up. And also here are the dumbbell. Because of it, this vehicle can roll pretty well. And also here is a nice feature. You press it down, and this cockpit can fold down, so the driver don't have to climb onto the top of this vehicle to get in, but it can just get inside of here. Very cozy, very conveniently. And also here, there's a seat. There's a two seat right here. And also there is a C clip. Okay, so you can first put the clip on him, and then put the clip on this chair. Which is a much easier way to install this figure, and also the controlling canopy is very nice molded. We can see、uh, okay, on both sides are exactly different, not the same. There is a molded under, okay, like acceleration and a brake system here, which is very nice molded feature. 
and it must be very comfortable to sit inside of the control because it's climate control system. How cool is that? That's also about the missiles. There are one on each side, which is also a classic okay, dumbbell groove here. You can just store on the both side. And I gotta say, you know, this tank is very modernized and very science fiction looking. Look at this, so many details. Here are the ventilations, there are so many features here. And also about the trays. They must put a lot of efforts inside of this tank. And also behind it, there is a feature here that is a compartment for uh, the sabotage team. So let's press down first, press down, and then just pull it out. Well, so we can see four people can sit in there very comfortably. And uh, also, here is a little slot. You can put some weapons here. And also, if you have some extra C clip, you can put the C clip here. Well, you can see you can put the C clips here. And I believe these C clips put in here is their kind of design. But at some point, let's give it up and just put a rail here instead. So if you have some extra C clip, you can put it here to secure this figure. And it looks very nice. And also, you can put some uh, accessories here. And also, there are also some details inside of here. Okay, and also there are two pegs behind this vehicle, so you can put two figures on top of it, just like this. Well, so the figure can stand on this peg very securely. So uh, add up to these two figures, there are nine figure accommodates into this vehicle, which is a very surprising upgrade. And also the brand name of this vehicle we can see is 1989 Hasbro Toy. And this vehicle is kind of heavy, it's a very sturdy toy, and this laser can rotate 360. Okay, it is a very nice looking vehicle and very modernized vehicle here. Alright, so this is a review for the His 2 tank. It is a great upgrade from this His 1 tank. And it's also cool. And if you also like the Star Wars, you can put them Star Wars figures inside of there, which is also looks great. And if you like today's video, please press like and subscribe to my channel and leave some comments here because your likes, your subscribe, and your comments are motivated to make more of this video in the future. And in the future, I'm going to review one of my favorite vehicles that is a Hammerhead and in the issue number 55. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. I got that sunshine